Hello, I'm Jeff Summit, Technical Director for Hariko Golf. In this segment of our basic club making series, I want to explain how to finish or turn down the ferrule on a golf club. Some club makers skip this practice altogether, but if you run your finger across the, uh, the hosel, uh, you shouldn't feel a lip at all. Uh, if there is, it's because not all hosels are the same diameter from each manufacturer and the hosel is hand polished and you get certain tolerances. Yet a ferrule is designed to fit a wide array, to, a wide array of products on the market. Uh, the ferrules are often oversized so they could be sanded or turned down flush with the outside diameter of the hosel. There's a couple different ways to finish a ferrule depending on how severe the lip, it, the lip is. If it's really noticeable then hand sanding will be required. Uh, what we would need to do would be take uh, masking tape and wrap it around the uh, hosel and also on the shaft to protect it. And then when we take some fine sandpaper and use a shoe shine method um, and with the club in the vise. Um, this will require loosening the vise and rotating the, the head just periodically to check to see if you've got it flush. Now this should take you to the, our next step, which I'm going to show you. Now if you're worried that the, uh, the ferrule will be marred with the sandpaper, uh, we have ways to restore the shine. Uh, we have triple-lot steel wool. Um, now it's going to take the scratch marks out of the sandpaper, or from the sandpaper. And then we have acetone, um, which is going to do the rest of the work. Now on this, I don't have a whole lot of lip on this particular club. So all I'm going to do is a quick acetone wipe. So what I'm going to do is take paper towel and just get it good and soaked. And then I'm going to take and just gradually go back and forth really quick until it's until it's flush and shiny. And I just want to keep on looking at it and visually making sure. Now, if uh, you want to make sure that your uh, paper towel or rag or whatever you're using is wet, if it gets dry, it's not going to do a very good job. Uh, you can always add more acetone onto the rag to make it shine. Now, that one looks pretty good. One thing I should tell you, don't overdo it or you'll melt the ferrule so much that you'll get a dip um, or take too much off and it'll look inconsistent. Now if you do this, then you're going to have to start all over and that means removing the shaft from the head uh, with heat. And uh, this is the reason why I prefer to do it in this step rather than after we've installed the grip. 